Hi there, my name is Julie Dunstall, and I'm the Executive Director of the LEAD Council on Alcoholism and Addictions. And I have written a blog that is being uh, shared in the OWLS blog this month about audacious gratitude. And one time I was reading this to a friend recently, and she really encouraged me to make a vlog of this particular article. So, audacious gratitude. Sit back, tape it, take a deep breath, and here we go. Audacious gratitude. An intrepidly bold and daring willingness to appreciate even the smallest things in life in the face of difficult circumstances. When I write blogs or guest editorials, I typically write as Julie Dostel, the executive director of LEAD in beautiful Oneonta, New York. When I was asked to write this one, I decided it was important for me to write it as just Julie. I am a wife, a sister, dog mom, public speaker, problem solver, musician, photographer, and a woman in long-term recovery. It is that last part of who I am, a woman in long-term recovery from addiction, that taught me about the wonders of audacious gratitude. There were times in my journey that if just one more of my recovering peers told me to write a gratitude list, I would have been tempted to throw the nearest solid object at them. Fortunately, I never did that. There was a lesson to be learned in the sage advice of those who cared about me. They were not telling me that I had to feel grateful. They were telling me that I had a choice to be grateful. Now, wait a minute. I feel terrible. My circumstances are measurably terrible. I feel like a huge parts of my life are terrible. And you want me to be grateful. <laughs> Insert a huff and tightly folded arms here. Their advice contradicted my own beliefs, but I listened. They were not asking me to disrespect my feelings. They were not even asking me to deny something was amiss in my life. My friends and my peers were simply nudging me to challenge my thinking. Things can feel terrible and I can be grateful at the same time. This is where audacity comes in. I encourage you to look up and read any definition of the word audacity. It's a wonderful word that might have gotten a bad rap over the years. We might say, can you believe they had the audacity to fill in your blank? On the other hand, acting with audacity is bold and brave and confident and unrestrained. Those are awesome words. I aspire to words like those. Yet, I also acknowledge that we are clearly living in unsettled times. As we approach the pandemic's second holiday season with various forms of grief and loss, restrictions, anxieties, shortages, financial strains, and other very real life struggles, being grateful may seem audacious. Being outspoken about one's gratitude will seem out of place, inappropriate, or even insulting, especially to others who are deep in the midst of their difficulties. Actually, sharing gratitude is medicine. And like most medicines, one does not have to deny the aches, pains, or fears in order for it to be effective. My doctor would never ask me to wait until a wound heal before I take the antibiotic. In this same way, audacious gratitude does not require that I have to feel better before I take the time to care for my spirit. Being grateful is both a heartfelt and also cognitive intellectual practice. It is not hocus pocus or magic. It is a choice I have to make about how I want to look at my circumstances in spite of how I feel. Audacious gratitude is daring to find life's gifts 
even in the face of terrible circumstances. Making an unexpected choice can reap unexpected rewards. As I practice the choice, and believe me, it takes practice, something remarkable happens in my spirit. It's like a balm or a healing salve that gives rest to my soul and to my mind. If only for a few moments, they are precious moments. I find myself being consciously grateful for rain and grass and leftover broccoli. Okay, that's a stretch. I thank God for my husband, my favorite chair, a wonderful friend, and music. I remember that I love purple and birds and the house with the beautiful Christmas lights. And with that, my breathing slows, my mind rests, and my spirit finds comfort. I find that there is a deep knowing that peace can exist in the midst of chaotic times. I'll take audacious any day.